oh, this is not a spring chicken. You know, they always say you can't teach a dog new tricks, but I will tell you that if you're a Democrat, if you attack the Republican Party and you get it to Fox, they will replay your ad over and over and over again, discuss it, and you don't even have to pay for the commercial. That's the election time. Anyway, we're going to bring all Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Looks like liberals will continue to elect the liberals no matter how much the people rail against their policies. Oh, well, they're electing, they're going to elect Jerry Brown in California. Jerry Brown is an old man who basically didn't, wasn't good to begin with for California. So they're going to elect him to do the same things that they're unhappy with the Democrats doing in the state, which is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, Pelosi supports seizing from those that have to give to those that don't, strictly out of American traditional fairness. Well, I know. She wants to take, uh, she wants the businesses to be given over to the unions, and if you're wealthy, you should provide for the well-being of those people that aren't wealthy. I thought that was really great. Of course, I'm thinking that all of these politicians that vote like that, we should start with them. Uh-huh. But they basically, as you find out, that... Uh, they said it, <clears throat> that you must have a 3 to 4% lead in an area where the Democrats are entrenched in order to remove one of them. Ooh. Latest poll shows that Democrats seek Republican cooperation on bills while Republicans are divisive, and that conservative media is even worse. Uh, I know. Anybody find out that the Democrats were in charge, and they had the executive office, the judiciary, and both houses, and they couldn't they'd get things done? Republicans couldn't stop anything, so but they... They, they couldn't be divisive. They couldn't stop anything. No one knew it, but the Obama tax cuts for middle class and small business sneaked in under the radar and saved this country from Bush's destruction. I, I know. They're trying to show that Bush's, that the, the stimulus money, you know, like $120 billion of that stimulus money went to tax reductions for, for uh, small businesses and the people. The only problem is, is that the mainstream media who said that didn't bother to tell you that he also increased taxes on those very same people by 20 times. And Republicans are responsible for the divisions that Obama has tried to heal. I, 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 they're all delusional, folks. I mean, he has not reached out once to the Republican Party other than the fact that uh, I have these plans, you should do what I want. Mm -hmm. that's, that's not how healing things. And EU signs off on tougher budget rules aimed at limiting debt. Well, you know, and Obama keeps wanting to spend money. He's basically chastising the Europeans because they're refusing to spend money they don't have. Oh, really? Yeah, well, they're shifting away from socialism to capitalism while he wants to shift towards socialism, and it's not working in this country. Hey, you know what? If he's going to be so supportive like that, can we just tell him we can't pay our bills and that other people need to pay it? Well, no. Like Margaret Thatcher in England said that socialism dies when the last person has no more money to be taxed. Mm. And Republicans must join the Democrats' vision of America to get things done. And, you know, you don't say the Democrats should join Republicans. They say the Republicans must join them. Oh, the nasty thing today, the Obama Justice Department helped the NAACP, SEIU, and other organizations put out a, a, a fact that it is now documented that the Tea Party is a white supremacist organization that is anti-Semitic, Islamophobic, anti-gay, and, and anti-minority, and that they, know, they should be put on a watch list for being dangerous in this country now. Mm. And Obama is at it again. Attacks those that don't support him. Yeah, he's basically, they're, they're basically he's copying Jimmy Carter right before his midterm election. When he started, you people don't understand that I'm doing this for you, and you don't appreciate what's being done in your behalf. Mm. Which basically pisses off everybody this He's, he's lost the middle of the country entirely, Obama has. Military testing combat uniform expressly designed for women. Yeah, it's got to be tighter fitting and hotter looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah, it won't be those the men's cut. It's women's cut. Yeah, it's got to be slim trim cuts. It looks more and more like Hillary is going to swap jobs with Biden to keep her from running against Obama. Yeah, because uh, Hillary will take the job. Okay, Hillary knows Obama is on the way out. If she can be the first vice president, it's easier to run for president than vice president because she doesn't have to leave office to do it. Oh. Right. She be, as Secretary of State, she would have to leave the office. The other part is since you're vice president, the press always follows you anyway. Yeah. And so you get they, lots of free press time. They said what's going on is she's denying it continually everywhere she's going now. Mm -hmm. And her husband has already said, you know, that would be an interesting proposal, wouldn't it? 
first time ever a swap of positions. Like yeah. This. Well, they like to be part of history books, don't yeah, they? Yeah, and it gives them another historical thing. So she can't be proud that she, they're not going to elect somebody. Okay, if you elect somebody my age, you're even stupider than the Democrats think you are. <laughs> fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, and I must be a Republican incumbent. Yeah, I, I heard basically that when Rush Limbaugh said that. Oh! He said because he said, uh, he, last night he said, I'll guarantee you, the same SOBs on the Republican Party side that started this mess are getting ready to redo it all over again, given the opportunity. Oh. He said they're basically dismissing the Tea Party now. I, I, last night, I, I, this morning, I heard him say, he said, I'll, one of the people said, I'll bet you a penny for every dollar you put up that the Republican National Committee supported this white supremacy tag on the Tea Party. Hmm. Mrs. Obama, don't lose faith in the president's vision. It, it, it's, it, basically, his vision is a socialist country, and this isn't a so. This is the country where we the communism didn't set in, socialism didn't, because it's an every man for himself nation. We only band together during emergencies. That's the only time. Tea Party supporters expect right turn that sticks. Uh, and are they going to throw the people out? This is why they. That's why they said this morning they think that the Republicans are just as wrapped up in that trying to dump the Tea Party. They they wanted their money. They wanted their support. Election is 10 days from now, so they don't care anything about that after that. The stimulus was a great success, but the Republicans-controlled media have managed to fool the people into believing it failed. Republicans don't control the media. The Democrats control the media. I know. I just love how they keep saying well, that all the time. The problem is, is there are older people in the mainstream media that actually can add one and one and come up with two. The younger ones... The younger ones can't add because they're products of the, of the democratic school system. They actually think that spending $600,000 to create one job is a big deal. Uh -huh. You can hire 12 people in the private sector for $600,000. And the Democrats feel that the only thing that they have done wrong was not going far enough. That's what Pelosi said this morning. He said if we'd have simply had the, the guts to go forward instead of letting the Republicans stop us at every turn, we wouldn't be in a situation that George Bush has caused us. And Republicans are about to learn the hard way that an imperial president will be very hard to deal with. Well, they still think that they can deal with it. I mean, yeah, I mean this morning, he said the president will have to deal with us on our terms. Well, no, the more the Republicans go like that moronic statements they're making, the more they are starting to backslide in the polls. Well, should and that should not surprise them. And it isn't because of Democratic support for the candidates. It's because the uh, independents are starting to back away from the Republican so incumbents. Did they forget, you know, like when they wanted to deal with the president, where they basically had meetings without any Republicans? Yeah. And that was, that, that you know, basically we'd come to our solution and then you can join ours? That's what's going to happen all over again. The right, I mean, the, the uh, Tea Party people are just going ballistic over what's going on at the moment. Military recruiters told to accept gay applicants. Yeah, even though that the, the people that were bounced out are now going to rejoin, and they're going to be bounced out again because the, the, the Congress, both Democrats and Republicans, are united in one thing. They do not like the judiciary making the... the uh, we have a civilian army controlled by the Congress, not by the courts, and they're not going to allow the courts to make decisions for them. Liberals don't get the Tea Party movement because they should be supporting the Democrats. Yeah, because we we believe in what is good for the people, and so does the Tea Party. Ah, oh, well, we know, do. But the Tea Party, okay, the majority of the people on Wall Street, folks, are Democrats. They aren't Republicans. They don't seem to get that. I think they forgot that. Almost everybody working for Obama was with Goldman Sachs. And no indictment in 2006, Iraqi killing, pissing off Obama. Well, yeah, he can't get the court system to try any American soldiers for crimes that... They have committed against them, uh, Muslims. And scientists lower the Gulf health grade. Yeah, because no matter what the president keeps saying, the, 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 the problem, there is no such thing as a miraculous microbes eating all the oil. It just basically sank. And large U.S. banks rapidly bidding goodbye to free checking. That went a long time. I know, but some people still have it. Yeah. And a Monty Bobolism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, that if you continually do the same stupid thing over and over again, you must be a Republican incumbent. <laughs>